What is happening everyone? Today I am going to be opening up a Scarlet and Violet Obsidian Flames ETB. I have been sitting on this thing for quite a while. I've got two that I've been holding on to and I am going to open up this other one. I am super excited to open this up and this is going to be like episode number two or three I think in my like buzzed breaks kind of thing or whatever as you can see i've got my my cut water mango margarita over here on the other side so i'm i'm really excited to open this up and hopefully we get the really cool crystal charizard Let's see what we got i've got my sleeves over here just in case we get something sweet and today i'm going to be opening up with my with my super crystal here to see if we can pull ourselves something super exciting of course, I love myself a bunch of Charmander-related cards in the series. There is the player's guide, by the way. Let's put that in the back. I think that'll be a nice little, nice little background piece for the video. And Charmander and its evolution series has always been some of my my favorites. Uh, actually, my my top favorite for all time pretty much so i am super excited to open this up and see what we get all together now one card i'm super excited to have is the really neat promo where he is just just stalking this pidgey and such that's hanging out in the back there so i am really really excited to see what we get out of this today should be a good day. Let's see what we get. So there we go. Let's put him in the back there. And we've got our packs. And just in case anyone would like this at home, there you go. There is the, the code right there. We'll leave the QR code off. That way it's not too easy for, for anyone to, to get that. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine packs. Was it nine, was it nine packs? Alright, I screw that up. No, nine packs. There we go. Nine packs. See what we get today. Obviously, like I always do, I always put the Charizards at the back. Here we go. Let's get on into it. There we go. Pack number one with the with the Varoom on the front there. Hope everyone has been doing really well. There you go. Code card right there for y'all. So let's go one to the front. Let's get that energy up front and center. So we got water, we got an Oddish, we got a Finizen, Herdier, Glamet, Camerupt, Palladian Clodsire, Grand Bull, we've got a Crab Brawler Reverse, we have got a Toxel Reverse, and next we've got a Gita Hollow. There we go. Let's put the Hollow there. If I don't screw this up. As I already am, so let's get the hollow. Let's get the hollow there, and then let's get let's get like our big hitters on this side right here. So sorry, Pikachu, you're gonna be moving off to the side here because we're gonna put you away. So there we go. As you can see, I'm off to a good start. So it it could be it could it could be the the the, the drink doing me in right here. But let's take a swig and open up pack number two. There we go. All right. Very nice. All right. Next, we've got the Dragonite on the front here. What has, what has been everyone's success with opening up Obsidian Flames? I've opened this up a couple of times, and I am still searching for the Charizard. But I have gotten myself some of the alternate arts which i think has has still been a really really good thing so we had a steel energy next we have a fungus nose pass litwick audino admiring an egg bear tick we've got a charmeleon there we go always put charmeleons and stuff like that off to the side we've got a excadrill we've got an excadrill Ex reverse we next have an Audino, so yeah, lots, lots of doubling. There we go. And next we have a Scovillain 
hollow right there. All right, that was pack number two. Let's go pack number three with the Tyranitar. Tyranitar there. Hopefully we get ourselves the Tyranitar. That would be pretty sweet. Get the Tyranitar from the Tyranitar pack. There we go. Code card for someone back home. One to the front. We've got ourselves a basic fighting slash ground energy. We've got a rhyme. Rock rough. Really trying to get its Pokeball toy out from underneath that little table. We've got a Wiglet. Shuckle, admiring itself in the reflection there in the water. We've got a Malamar. We've got a Grumpig, dancing the night away. We've got a Belly Bolt, just ready to charge up and just really just clap you with a big lightning ball there. We've got a Carvana, reverse. We've got a Lampent, reverse. And next we've got a Clay Doll Hollow. That's a pretty cool hollow. Kind of reminds me of the old style back when back when the second gen was or the third gen was put out. So I think that that looks really really nice. All right. We're in pack number 4. Still looking for that big hitter there. Let's get it right here. We've got a Psychic Energy, a Larvitar, Magnemite, Eevee. Now you know me. If you know me, you know I like my Eevees and such too. I, I have a separate binder for those, so let's put that off to the side as well. We've got a Toad School just being all cool walking through the field there, or like the trail there on the trail there by the park. We've got a Palladian Clodsire, different art. We've got a Trevenant. We've got a Belly Bolt again. So that's interesting that they have two. Two different arts for the same Pokemon. We've got a Lily Pup. That is that looks super weird. I don't know if I like that. I mean, I know in the games it's got that it's got that little tiny part for its mouth, but this to, it it just looks way too skinny. Like it's a big head on a little body. We've got a Char Cadet Reverse, and next we've got a Togekiss Hollow. So we've got. We've got nothing but hollows so far. So we've got we've got four hollows. And we've got five packs left. Let's see what we can get here. Alright, we've got the Dragonite on the front again. Alright, let's do this. Now I have been wondering how do you all see how I open my packs? Do you, is is the way I open the packs okay? Is there is there something that is a little bit off about it? I know some folks have they, they have a different way of opening up their packs, and some looks like they're really abusing the cards, and it almost looks like they're they're just kind of trying to rip them out of there rather than open up the pack. And I just want to know if if it looks kind of odd. If so, let me know, and I'll see if there's anything I can do to I'll see what I can do to adjust it. That way it doesn't look as bad because some others, man, I, I see them opening up packs and they just kind of just rip right through them. And I'm like, are you just going to just abuse those cards and have them just go all over the place? It just looks it just looks super odd to me. So before we get through this pack, I am going to take myself another drink here. Try to get those good those good vibes flowing. OK, we've got ourselves a basic grass energy we've got a palladian rooper buzel smoliv we've got a varum we've got a armor rogue interesting interesting we've got a amoongus we've got a seismitoad it's really weird seeing seismitoad downshifted to a, a a common I, I always find it weird when when they do that when they when they take a a, th a third evolution in a line and and put it down to put it down to lower rarity. I guess they they might have had to because this set is ginormous. Next we've got a belly bolt reverse. Ooh, artisan gold hollow secret rare that is incredible look at that gold shine on that wow <laughs> and look at the look at the little look at the little piggy look at the little piggy there in the bottom there that is amazing artwork 
what do we got in the end? We've got an another Gita, so we're getting some doubling there. But that's amazing. Wow. That I, I love the gold card. The gold card is just they just they just pop so much and with all of the different textures on it, chef's kiss for sure. Okay, so there is big hit number one. Let's keep the good vibes going. There is another upside down code for whoever snags that. We've got a lightning energy. We've got a hound hour. Let's get that little stack there on the right. A little bit more organized. We've got a hound hour. We've got a combi. We've got ourselves a diglet, rowlet, flamigo. <laughs> We've got a bronzong. We've got a bear tick. We've got a Charmander Reverse. I will take that. T to me, that's a hit. I don't know about you guys, but to me, that is a hit. We've got a Tynamo Reverse. And lastly, we've got a Sizor Hollow. Okay, we've got three packs. Three packs to go. We've got the Rever Room here on the front of this pack. Let's see what we can conjure out of this one. There is the code card. All right, we've got a fighting slash ground energy. We've got a bow toy, Finizen, Larvesta, Fungus, Fungus Amungus, another Charmeleon. I'll take that. We've got a Excadrill, Pidgeotto, Armor Rogue, Reverse. We've got a Glamet Reverse, and on the end we've got a Maridon EX. Pretty neat, pretty neat. I like that. It's, it's a, there's a lot going on in just that little box right there. Charging up a, looks like an electro ball or, or something like that. Pretty neat. Although I, I think a lot of folks would agree with me that the EX Hollow on, on these new ones is, is, to me, they are tacky. I I just wish that they that they would have gone to more of a traditional EX, maybe like the cracked ice. I think that would have worked way better for for these EXs because this just it reminds me of the Radiant Collection from the from the anniversary sets, and it just it just looks out of place. So let me know what you think about the the star foiling on the new EXs. I think they could have done a, a better job with those. For, for bringing the, the EX cards back. Nice hit. All around, though. Good to get it. Glad to get it. Let's see what we get here. So we're opening up our last two packs here. We've got the Charizard Arts on those, so let's open up another pack here, get another drink here. Let's try to bring out Charizard from its slumber. We've got a water energy. We've got a Salandit. Looking very, very angry. Like it's just it's got it, it's like it's it's got that scent going around it and it's on the it's like on the hunt for sure. We've got a E Electric. We've got a Larvitar Mun munching on something or, or playing with some dirt. It's looking very very concerned. There, we've got a Magnemite charging up. We've got a Arbaliva, Team Star Grunt, Altaria. Next, we've got a Magnemite Reverse. We've got a Togepi Reverse. That is awesome artwork. It just really puts into perspective how small Togepi is. She is there with with the flowers looking very, very amused, very cute there in the garden. That's great artwork. And next we've got a Palafin Hollow, the the hero dolphin Pokemon. There you go. It's like it's it almost it's like the it's like a dolphin version of a Polyrath. It's very interesting. All right, last pack here. Come on, let's get a let's get a big, big Charizard here. 
I gotta, gotta at least get that hit, big hit ratio to be one, one out of three. So far we're, we're two out of eight. Let's make it three out of nine. So let's get, let's get this one going. We've got a grass energy, another Charmander. I will take that. We've got a Dratini. We've got an Oddish. We've got a Herdier. We've got a Pidgeotto, Dragonair. That's a that's sweet artwork. That almost looks like it should have been a alternate art card right there. That could have been a, an alternate on its own. It just floating on top of that lake with the sunset going on behind it. It's like it's like in the fall because all you don't really see a lot of leaves or really any leaves on the trees in the back there. I that 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 art look work looks great. We've got a armor rogue. Next, we've got a rhyme reverse we've got a lechunk looking very sad there by the cliffside hope everything's okay and our last card let me see are we gonna get anything crazy oh we've got a toga kiss oh we got doubling there oh no that's that's one thing i've noticed is doubling tends to run rampant as of late yeah we got two gitas two toga kisses this is my i think my third sizor hollow since opening up this set and i think my second or third of the school villain which i understand to a degree that there are going to be a few doublings of cards but when you've opened up less than or when you've opened up 15 packs and you've gotten so many doubles like that, it kind of takes away from the experience to me a little bit. It's okay, though. It's okay. Because we still get this really, really sweet Charmander promo here. That looks amazing. That looks so cool. It just, it, it just, it just wants to turn those Pidgeys into rotisserie birds and have it for lunch. And we also got the Maridon EX and the big card of the day, this Artisan Secret Gold Rare. That's wonderful. Thank you all so very much. I hope you have yourselves a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed the break. Let me know, sincerely, if there are any things that I can improve on. I know I'm rambling because I want to know what I can improve on. And I would truly appreciate any and all field feedback. If Cutwater wants to sponsor me for any sort of future openings, I will take that. I will do my best to improve. Let me know what you all think. I want to make sure that I can put out a decent product for you all and make sure that we can all enjoy a good time together and be able to pull some great looking cards and have some good commentary and just keep enjoying what we're doing for the future for a very long time. So I appreciate you all so much. I hope you have yourselves a great rest of your day, afternoon, or night, wherever you are. Have a good one.